Hi everyone, let's talk about Nathan Fake. Hailing from the UK, Nathan Fake has been making music in the electronic realm since about the mid-2000s, and Blizzards is his fifth studio album. Up until this point, I had not heard about Nathan Fake, I didn't know who he was, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Quickly, I found out that this was an electronic album, specifically 63 minutes of pretty wonky, techno, IDM, breakbeat style songs, which is his most adventurous and longest album to date. I was a little hesitant going into this album because it is 63 minutes long. I didn't really want to listen to 63 minutes of boring IDM music. However, what we get on Blizzards is most of the time pretty solid. For one, I like the drums and the sequencing on a lot of these songs. There's only one track that doesn't include drums and that is actually the last track of this album, Vitesse. Every other song on this record includes a very intricate, very winding and almost frenetic drum passage, like the track Torch Song or the opening song, Cry Me a Blizzard. There are also simple moments of drum works like on the two three minute tracks, North Brink and Vectra, or the track Ezekiel, which honestly isn't one of my favorites on this album. The song after the middle point just loses its momentum. And if we're talking about the criticisms of this album first, there are moments on this record that get a sense of deja vu with me. For example, why does the second track of this album sound like the first? There are also other synthesizer notes that kind of feel reminiscent of other songs on this album. And there are some songs on this album where there are some good ideas, but it's stifled by the mixing, especially on the track Stepping Stone with that, in, ugh, that hi-hat. However, beyond those criticisms, there are some really great highlights on this record. I love the warm, kind of fuzzy synthesizers that are on the longest song on this album, Firmament. Firmament. And the opening track is also a really great introduction to this record. It's uh, a little, uh, cinematic. You get these synthesizers that are layered on top of one another and they build and build as the track progresses. And the same drum pattern is playing throughout this entire song too. There are moments where it does cut off, but inevitably it comes back in. The penultimate track, Eris and Dysnomania, features a pretty linear song structure. Simple chords that are starting this track and then it builds upon from there. You get the hi-hats that come in, you get the kicks, the drums, whatever. The longer the song goes, the more expressive it becomes. And I mentioned this earlier, but the two songs, North Brink and Vectra, the two shortest songs on this album, are also highlights. These two songs really hone down the sounds that are bouncing back and forth on this record into a reasonably sized, digestible track that's easy to understand and easy to take in. And they have some really great synthesizers attached to them as well. Especially the song Vectra, which during uh, the middle portion of the song, the synthesizer in the background that's been repeating for the entire track starts to glitch out in some respect. Pentiamons incorporates this really thick and rumbling synth note. It could be a bass line, I'm not too sure that starts the song off. Accompanied by a kick snare pattern, this track continues to grow and flourish and flutter for the entire runtime. And that's what I really like about many of the songs on this album. While I find them really close together in the sound and the quality, there are moments that are really beautiful. And while I do wish next time around the songs weren't so close together to the point where they can become a little derivative, I think we got a solid set of songs on this album. And songs that are pretty memorable, at least for me. Overall, I thought this was a really solid effort from Nathan himself. For me personally, it's a pretty light B+, however. It has moments of greatness, but they are stifled by moments of deja vu or moments that are just plain derivative. But I am curious to know what are your thoughts and opinions on this album down below. Let me know what albums you want me to review next. And that is it. Leave a like, comment, share, do whatever you want. Let me know how I can improve future videos down below. Remember, this is only my opinion because music is subjective.